and welcome back to another Kick Like Crow video. And if you came to see my video, thank you. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? It is your boy Kick Like Crow. I'm back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a quick rundown on some equipment that I believe all kickers and punters should have in their arsenal, all right? And before we get started, if you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like and a comment down below if you guys want to ask me anything. Hit the notifications bell so you guys can get all my latest updates. And so before we get started on this list, I'm just going to let you guys know you're not going to need everything on this list, but I recommend you should have it. So to get started, everybody's going to need some sort of bag. Obviously, we're going to need a bag to hold all of our stuff. Um, I got this off of Amazon for about 12 bucks, all right? Next off, we're going to need footballs. Any kind of football, it doesn't matter as long as it's the size recommended for your age category and as long as the ball is a game leather ball. No composite balls. Composite balls are shamed upon. Next up, we're going to need a ball pump. Any kind of ball pump, doesn't matter as long as you just got something to air your balls up if they go flat. Next up, you're going to need some cleats. Any kind of cleats um, work for us. I mean, honestly, we rather kick in soccer cleats, and I show you upon people that use Adidas. I love Nike. Um, I kick in the Nike Mercurial Vapor 12 Pros. Um, right now, I'm just really loving this synthetic upper and the anatomical sole plate. It just all works for me right now, man. For my place kickers, you're gonna need you a wizard. Everyone needs a wizard. Um, I mean, when you're by yourself, you don't have a hold or anything, this is what's gonna be holding for you. Also for my place kickers, your own kickoff tee. Get your own. You can get a Wilson kickoff tee for about 10 bucks, um, depending where you get them. Uh, you can get a skills uh, kickoff tee for about 20 or 15 bucks at Dick's Sporting Goods and Academy, I know that. And then for some recovery, if our legs are sore, if you pulled something, First off, get you a foam roller. Any kind of foam roller works or something that just helps out, um, helps get store, uh, soreness and knocks out. You can go to Walmart and get this copper, um, this copper leg sleeve for about 15 bucks. Um, honestly, what I do with this is if my leg is sore or like I feel like I've torn something or I have, not torn something, but you know, like pulled something, I put icy hot on first and then I put the leg sleeve on and it just, I'm good to go for practice, you know. And take some Tylenol or some Advil. Mouth guards, obviously for football, and your helmet too. But my helmet's getting uh, what is it? Repainted for the season or whatever. Some shoulder pads. Now, if you guys have like the biggest shoulder pads on the team, and you're a small person like me, I recommend going to go buy your own shoulder pads, or just seeing if you can possibly get the smallest shoulder pads from somebody. But most likely, no football players. You have guys that normally wear like a freaking large that want to wear smalls because they think they're going to be more mobile in them. And the last thing for you guys, you're going to need a coin or some tape. Now this is for the place kickers that are kicking off the ground. If you have a holder that doesn't really know where to put the ball down when, when he catches the snap, have a quarter or some tape, um, roll up the tape into like a little square. And that just gives that, that holder a little marker on where to put the ball down. And there's one more thing that I do not have. It is a girdle. That's because right now I'm currently looking out for the like, just the thinnest, the thinnest girdle. Cause you just gotta have something that shows that you have pads in your leg. I may try to show you guys if I can find a secret on something lighter than a girdle to stick in my pants. To just, you know, cause we don't take contact. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down below in the comments uh, what kind of equipment you guys are using. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.